Hi, I'm Sufren Hakim, and this is Wonderwall. Before we begin, allow me to share a little something about me. I enjoy being a human being. The human experience for me, despite its many challenges, has been an enjoyable one. It is only by being human that you get to discriminately appreciate marvels and wonders like art, history, literature, football, sex, friendship, dinosaurs. And it is in this existentialist joy in my humanity that I create Wonderwall. The Wonder Wall, named after my favourite song by Oasis, is a knowledge repository. It is a wall whose scribblings memorialise all the things that I have fallen in love with after almost three decades on Earth. It is a personal project with three objectives. Firstly, I want to immortalise my profound reverence for 10 of my deepest fascinations. They are religion, art, football, history, astronomy and astrophysics, film, literature, sex, philosophy, and dinosaurs. Secondly, it is to store almost three decades and counting of learning and reading and research in a permanent audiovisual medium. I want to be able to watch this, say, 20 years down the road and refresh my mind of how much of a fucking nerd I was. Finally, it is my means of passing on the torch of knowledge to you, my viewers. Yes, all five of you! Here at Wonderwall, we take careful stock in our epistemology. Our shared learnings here are notions that must be justified empirically. We distinguish carefully between justified belief and opinion. We study the reliability of our sources. We look at the bias or preconceptions of its authors and how much we can take from said source in shaping and informing our knowledge. This brings me to one of my greatest annoyances with the English language, the word no. English is a complex, wonderful language, but that unfortunately does not extend to the word no. Most Latin-based European languages are more discerning in their translations of the word no. In French, the word no can be translated in two ways, connaître and savoir. Connaître refers to knowledge by acquaintance, when you know something in passing or cosmetically. Savoir, on the other hand, suggests knowledge by studying, by application of self, by endeavour. There is a difference in the depth of knowledge and familiarity with the subject that each of these words apply. As an example, let's translate the phrase I know Singapore, where I come from, to French. With the verbs conjugated, we have Je connais Singapore and Je sais Singapore. Je connais Singapore suggests superficial knowledge, that you've seen Singapore on a map perhaps, or heard it mentioned by someone. Je sais Singapore, on the other hand, reflects in-depth knowledge. We know Singapore for its history perhaps of its social-cultural nuances, the nature of its economy. It's contrivances like these that we acknowledge in Wonderwall. So if you're ready, join me at Wonderwall Religions as we talk about the origins of religions. The link is here, and I'll see you there. I'm Sufyan Hakim, and this is Wonderwall.